Mammoths on the Move. 14,000 years ago, the North was mostly ice and snow, but woolly mammoths didn't care. These beasts had comfy coats of hair. Fuzzy, shaggy, snarly, snaggy, wonderful woolly mammoths. They grazed on grass and arctic moss that grew above the permafrost. In family herd, they liked to dine on tender herbs of summertime. Two toothy tusks grew down and out, and as they swung their heads about, they swept the tundra clear of snow to reach the shoots concealed below, grinding, gnawing, chewing, chawing, wise and woolly mammoths. Come colder days, these mammoth herds migrated south just like the birds. Their menu had to be improved, so mammoths packed their trunks and moved. Their feet, like snowshoes wide and flat, had rough skin soles designed so that they would not slip on ice and snow. Steady mammoths, time to go. Stepping, stomping, marching, tromping, watch out, woolly mammoths. The oldest mother led the way across the steps both night and day. The females followed in her tracks, majestic glaciers at their backs. Rivers ran across their path, but mammoths did not mind a bath. They raised their snorkel trunks up high and swam with noses to the sky, swimming, pacing, never racing. This way, woolly mammoths. The mammoth, mammoth's route was fraught with danger, melting ice, a hunting stranger. Woolly calves soon learned to fear a saber tooth, a human spear. Each mammoth had to guard her child, for carnivores both fierce and wild would prey upon the smaller frail attacking travelers on the trail tramping lumbering trembling thundering wary woolly mammoths if predators came moving in the cautious mammoth warned her kin by trumpeting a warning call danger 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 all when mammoths heard that blaring sound, they formed a giant fortress round, their little calves to keep them snug and safe within a woolly hug. Big and bulky, huge and hulky, wide and woolly mammoths. Each mammoth male was called a bull. They liked to keep their tummies full. Bulls ate and ate from morn till night. They had a mammoth appetite. Far from the herd, the bulls kept pace. This gave the mom some breathing space for males who liked to strut their stuff to see which one was tough enough. Sparring, crashing, butting, clashing, wild and woolly mammoths. The calves, like children, joined in play. Their moms made sure they wouldn't stray. The trek was long, but you can bet, no mammoth whined, are we there yet? Through storms that raged through bl blinding snow, the herd moved on, their pace was slow. By instinct pulled, by hunger drawn, they traveled on and on and on, plodding, trekking, trudging, treading, willful, woolly mammoths. Week by week and day by day, the mammoth family made its way. They reached the south by winter's end, then started heading north again. Massive, hairy, legendary, wonderful, woolly mammoths.